Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions! It's a big, diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. 
I have to work the angles and get out of here. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind? If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Let's remember that next time Shepard sets us up against impossible odds. Not often enough. Most of the time I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her, and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse Mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty, too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Take you down, Justicar! What 
was the name of the ship she left on? Dolenia. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them, but I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. Uh, the human is lost here. Can one of you clarify? I was trying to convince her to leave with you, but just a car's in their code. The detective has been ordered to detain me. I can't force her to disobey an order. Asari is stupid. Your code just means you kill her tomorrow instead of today. I am afraid so. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse Mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know our way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggle the chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Nothing faster than 
just teak up our supply. Weakening their integrity! I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you. been spotted.
Detective would want this. Looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it does implicate the Volus. 
valuable information to the Volus. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. Think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. That I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Good luck with everything. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasea will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last. But, Great Wind, Biotic God, I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. tired. You may be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Useless. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! Get ready! Shit the crazy Asari wanted to find? Should we head back to the police station and give her the name, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. A 
I don't know what they put in me, but I thought it was... Well, you saw. Anyway, thanks. If you have something that'll encourage the Justicon in me, you show it to her. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on deck three. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. <laughs> 